Greetings, everyone. I am Cicely Renee, and I'm super excited that you're here for this micro workshop. Um, and the title is Pivots, Why You and Your Business Need It. Um, and so this isn't always focusing on business, but it can be different areas in your life as well. So make sure you have the workbook and let's get started. All right, a little bit about me. I am Cicely Renee, like I said. Um, I have a master's in educational leadership. I have taught for the past five plus years, um, certified, but then also not certified as well because I've been teaching for a very long time since I was about 20 years old. Um, I love to teach people. I love to provide workshops and resources and education and just, especially in the areas of living your best life, whatever we can do to help you access what you want in your life. That is what I like to teach. I like to help people get there. Um, I am also a full-time entrepreneur. I own a bookstore um, and literacy center. It is actually a nonprofit organization. We do art classes. We do literacy tutoring. We do so many things in that space. And it's amazing. So if you are in Louisville, Texas, make sure you come stop by and say hi. Um, let's see, what else? Let's see, I'm an artist. I love to paint. I um, do digital creations and so many other things. Um, and I call myself a creative preneur where I just create a whole bunch of amazing stuff and people buy it. Um, so I thank y'all for supporting. Um, I live in Louisville with my fur baby canary. All right, so who is this workshop for? So I'm going to let you know that I really speak to women, <laughs> women who want change in their lives. Um, and so all my stuff is pretty much geared towards women. Um, and so this is for people who want to have a shift in their business or shift in some area of their life. Um, I am a bookstore owner and I recently just celebrated one year. And so I've been in this, this space where I'm just like not moving. And I remember this man talking to me and the key word that just stood out that resonated with me was the word pivot. He's like, no, don't move. Don't do any of this. Don't do that. You need to pivot. You need to focus. You can change some things, go around things, but you'll still end up at your goal. And one of my main goals is to be able to educate people, but also be my own boss, right? And so thinking of pivoting in a way where it's like, yeah, I had these plans, but we're going to try and do an alternate route just to get there. All right. And so if you are thinking about pivoting in your finances, trying to figure out different ways to access money, um, if you're wanting to shift some things in your family, um, maybe add a child or, you know, not subtract a child, do not subtract a child. Um and if it is like entrepreneurial or career wise, thinking about different pivots you can take to get there. All right. All right. So one of my favorite quotes that I have found with the word pivotal or pivot, um, it says pivoting isn't plan B. It's part of the process. So it's not like you have to quit everything in order for you to move this way. It is part of the process. This is just maybe an alternate route, whatever, right? It is not a huge, you know, quitting of the game. So let's look at the definition for pivot. So it is a noun. The central point, pin, or shaft on which a mechanism turns or oscillates. Then we have it as a verb. Turn on or as if on a pivot. And then the word pivot toll of crucial importance in relation to the development development of or success of something else. So let's look at some key words here. So the central point. So you have met this point. You're like, what needs to happen? This is where I'm at in my bookstore. I'm like, okay, what do we need to do in order for us to reach another level, to have development or success, right? So what do we need to do? We hit that central point. It needs to turn. It needs to turn towards that progress. You know, of course, life is not a straight and narrow. It is not you just walk down one aisle and you're there. No, it's all over the place. 
And that is why we have to be cognizant, cognizant and intentional with our pivoting, okay? All right, so here are three reasons why you need to pivot in your business, relationships, financial, family, whatever it may be, okay? Number one, everything you have been doing is not tipping the scales. Number two, you feel stuck and don't know what to do. Three, you are ready for progress but need that extra push. We're going to dive in deep right now. All right, let's talk about tipping those scales, right? So it's pretty steady, right? You're doing things, it's steady, it's not tilting, it's not going up, it's not going down. We don't want it to go down, but we really want it to go up. But either way, it's just stagnant. It is just sitting there, sitting there, sitting there, not doing anything. And you're doing so much. Like take, for example, me. So like I've been pumping and pushing out events after events after events, you know, hosting things, trying to get people inside. But obviously that is not working. That is not helping. I need to figure out how to get out of whatever I'm doing and to tap into another realm. So I need to tip those scales. I need to tip it to where it is making me more profit, bringing people into my business, building community, relationships, all of that, right? So you're doing all this, but nothing is tipping. There's no progress. So that is what I mean by tipping the scales. All right, reason number two, you feel stuck and do not know what to do. So you've done everything and now you're like, you've exhausted everything. You've exhausted different options and opportunities and you're just like, this this ain't working. I don't know what to do. What's next, right? And we do not want to shut things down, but we want to make sure we have that progress, right? Um, so you've planted these seeds, you are waiting, you are, you know, waiting for that harvest, but you're not seeing any fruit. And so now you're just like, I don't know what to do now. I'm just gonna sit here and just let it play out. But that's not how life works, right? So you definitely have to do something, hence the name pivots. All right, number three. All right, so you are ready for progress, but need that extra push. So now you're like, okay, so you're maybe like me where you did a whole year of business, right? And now you're like, okay, I survived this. Now what's next? And so now you need to figure out how to access different opportunities, how to connect with different people. What should you bring to the the store or whatever your business is, what needs to happen. So now you're in that research mode, all right? But you need some guidance. All right, to pivot is to stop, reflect, plan, then proceed to open doors full of opportunity. Y'all ready to pivot? Let's go. All right, so I hope you have your workbook because it's time to start taking some notes, all right? Um, let's talk about our top three areas, goals that we want to focus on, okay? So things to think about, maybe it's fitness, maybe it's family, business, whatever it may be. I want you to write those three things down. And if you don't have the workbook, don't worry. You can go ahead and write it on a piece of paper. So me, my person, well, at least my top one goal is to pivot my personal brand and business. And so that's Bougie Black Blogger slash Cicely Renee. So I call myself Cicely Renee, aka the Bougie Black Blogger. And so I use two platforms. One has my merchandising information and then one is just my blog. Um, but I want to re uh, like resurrect it. I want to tap into more courses and all of these things. So I want, my focus is Cicely Renee slash Bougie Black Blogger business side. So business, all right? So go ahead and write down what you are going to be thinking about. All right, so now that we have our top three, let's start thinking about this thing called a bubble map. Um, and I'm sure you've seen this, especially if you've gone to school or you're in business and you guys are brainstorming all of these things, right? So this is an example of something that I'm interested in. So I'm a teacher, right? 
and I want to continue teaching, but not in the traditional setting, right? So I want to get out of the classroom, but still be able to teach and help. So that is my top one. That's my number one area that I want to focus on, but I want to, I want to stay in that lane. But what are some pivots I can take to keep me on that path, but have alternate routes? Um, different ways to get to my passions, I guess. Um, and so here are some different ways that I can do that. So maybe I can start a daycare, you know, and I will focus on education. Um, maybe I'll start an educational YouTube channel. So uh, teaching kids, teaching adults, doing what I'm doing right now. Um, shift to adult learning, which is similar to what I just said about the YouTube channel. Um, but you can also tap into like corporations and, you know, help with training or teach or train, you know, new employees. So that's still education, right? Um, maybe I can teach online. I just don't like being in the classroom. I don't like being told what to do. I don't like being, you know, having principals and admins coming to my classroom and telling me what I'm doing wrong. I want to teach online and I want to teach what I want to teach and I want to teach kids that want to be taught. So maybe teaching online is where I go. Next, maybe I have all this information and all these educational resources that I gave my students. Maybe I can sell that online for teachers who are staying in the classroom, right? Um, next is training teachers. Maybe I'm a coach. Maybe I'm helping you guys, you know, helping teachers, young teachers, new teachers, how to teach uh, behavior, English, special ed, whatever I'm an expert in, right? Um, maybe I want to just tutor um, and just build a schedule of just tutoring kids how to read. Um, and then also like create on-demand courses. And so those are some areas that, you know, I can focus on that I can pivot to, but stay in my line of work and my goal. So that is something you want to start thinking about. So you have in your workbook three pages where you can break down your top three goals and create this, you know, create different ideas for, you know, staying or for pivoting, right? Pivoting, but staying in your lane, right? All right. All right. So now we're going to talk about working with what you got. So this is pivoting. This is not quitting something and getting rid of it and starting something brand new. This is all about additions, right? Adding services, maybe products to what you're doing to make it more fruitful, right? So for example, I have this bookstore. I'm also going to start doing notary services. I'm not quitting the bookstore. I'm just adding an additional service so that I can bring people into the bookstore, right? So I want to bring people in. I want people to know that I'm here, that I exist, and to spend money in my establishment. And so we want to work with what you already have. I have the space. I have the time, the capacity, so that I can be able to do notary work. Um, and so I want you to focus on what you have, right? Your skills, your talents, products and services, resources, and experience, right? So there are some examples here. So like the skills and talents I've taught for five years. You know, I have planned and wrote curriculum. Um, I know how to build a network. I know how to make social media, you know, marketing materials. And so when I think about like products and services, I'm like, okay, so one of my services I can teach, I can make a workbook. You're using my workbook now, hopefully. Um, I know how to create lesson plans that can be a product, right? I can sell it to somebody. I can tutor. That's a service. Thinking about resources and access. So I use Canva. I've already been paying Canva Pro for about five years now. Um, I have the Google Drive so I can use their documents, their Excel, their Jamboard, whatever it may be. There are websites such as Teachers Pay Teachers where I can sell my lesson plans to new teachers. Uh, we have Facebook, Bookstore, like the Zoom, like there's so many things that I already have at my, you know, in arm's reach, right? In order for me to do what I need to do. Um, and so then here comes the experiences, right? And so this kind of like wraps up what I've already been doing. It confirms it. 
And it's like, yeah, you've already taught for five years. You have written curriculum. You've created a YouTube channel. You've created a website. So this is actually going to be really easy for you to do. So you're going to be able to maybe start your own educational company. Or so say I already have an educational company. Now I can add different services and products for it. And maybe I want to start teaching online rather than, you know, having kids come to my bookstore, right? Can I add this channel that brings in extra income? So I want you to start thinking about working with what you already have, right? So I want you to start thinking about, you know, your top three, thinking about that bubble map, your skills, your talents, products, services, all of that, and start coming up with some ideas of, you know, things that you can do as a pivot, right? What are you going to add? All right. All right. So I want you to pause right here. Well, after I tell you what you need to do, um, <laughs> um, I want you to really look into your top three, right? The top three areas that you want to focus on. I want you to really look at that, that bubble map. The, if you did it for all three of them, make sure you do that. Um, and then also looking at your resources, your your skills, your talents, uh, you know, experiences, all of that. And now I want you to start thinking of a plan, a pivotal plan. I want you to start thinking of something that you want to focus on, a route, something you want to add. Maybe you want to restructure something. Um, what services or products are you thinking about? Maybe you're a t-shirt company, but now you want to add maybe stickers or something with your art on there. What are some ideas that popped into your mind, okay? All right, so I want you to dissect it, right? So you have all these ideas. You thought about your skills, your talents. You're like, okay, maybe I can add this, all right? So based off of what you already have and then one of those goals, your top one, two, three, um, what are some ideas that came to mind, right? Um, is it a service? Is it a product? Are you restructuring? What is it? What are those things that pop into your head? All right. And so now I want you to think about those things. And I want you to wonder and think and research, is it even profitable? Is it needed? Is it desired? How and in what way? So I want you to really dissect that. So when you really tap into that, you're going to be able to tell people why your product or service is amazing and needed and all of that. So if you have it in your head already, it's easier to communicate with other people, okay? Um, and then last, um, is this something that you can implement with ease or do you need some extra stuff to do things? And if it is extra, is it a lot? Is it a lot of jumping through hoops? Is it a lot of like paying a lot of money? What are those extra things that you need to do to implement it? Or is it something easy like hopping on a computer, recording yourself, uploading it to YouTube, and bam, there you have it. So I want you to think about those three questions. Think about those Three questions in those three different areas. And so if you have the workbook, you'll be able to put that in the workbook right there, okay? All right, so now it's time for that creation and implementation phase. The pivotal plan, the purposeful, the thing that we need to do, right? Sorry, y'all, I'm goofy. Um, but anyway, so I want you to think about a plan. So if you have the workbook, it has those questions for you. But you can write this in a notebook as well. So what is it that you want to implement, right? What is it? Then when do you want to implement it? Is it three months from now? Is it a year from now? Is it next week? Um, then I want you to create action plans and steps and tasks. So you also want to work backwards. So you have you set this goal and then you work backwards. What's needed? Those checkpoints, right? And then you're going to put it into action. And what better way to understand your business and where you're going is if you don't reflect. So I want you to reflect as well. So what went well? What needs to be changed? And so this has, your reflection can be during and after, right? So you always should be reflecting. You don't have to write it down, but you can be thinking about these things. 
Um, but that reflection is a huge piece for solidifying information, something new, um, getting it into your mind and your heart, okay? All right, so go ahead and create that pivotal plan for what you are implementing to take your business or life goals to the next level. Hooray and congrats. I hope you have enjoyed this micro workshop. Um, and I hope this has sparked something in you where you're like, okay, I can take my business to the next step or the next level. I can take my family, you know, to the next phase or whatever it may be. I just hope that you have thought about pivoting in a positive way where it, you know, it's not detracting, but it's adding to your value, what you already have going on. Um, again, remember, it is not a plan B. It is the part of the is part of the process. And so, I'm looking forward to hearing how this goes for you. Be sure to message me or tag me in anything that you got going on. And yeah, let's 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 wrap up. All right. So again, I hope this worked out for you. I hope this is something that is interesting and is helpful, beneficial. Thank you so much for taking this journey with me. Um, and I hope this definitely empowers you to navigate your thoughts and take the necessary steps to take your business to the next level. Um, so I want you to stay tuned with me like we do a podcast um, and we do workshops, we do micro webinars, workshops, and so many other things. So make sure you're following along. If you are with me and you want to level up your life and live your best life, okay? Peace and blessings.